Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The misconception that we are going to discuss today vis-à-vis -vis Islamic dietary laws is that it is generally thought that items which are made from the skin of a pig, they are equally prohibited and Muslims must not use them. And this prohibition stems from the fact that since Muslims are prohibited the meat of the pig, they cannot eat pork. So therefore they must not use any other item of the pig at all in any other sense as well. Now this is a misconception and uh, uh, the, the practice of the Prophet in this regard itself guides us that we can use items made out of pig skin if we want to for the prohibition in fact lies only in eating pork or only in eating the flesh or the meat of, of the pig. Uh, using the hide of a pig for some other advantage, this is something which is absolutely permissible. And this uh, light of guidance has been shed by the Prophet in one of his uh, in one of the narratives which have been recorded in the Sahih of Imam Muslim. Uh, the narrative says that a goat was given in charity to Memuna's maid. We know that Memuna was one of Rasulullah Anha was one of the wives of the Prophet. So that goat died, and it so happened that the Prophet passed by, and seeing the goat, he said, "Would that you had taken its hide, tanned it, and then made use of it." So people remarked, "This is a dead animal." At this the Prophet declared, only eating it is forbidden. So in other words, by telling people that, uh, of course, the meat of a dead animal is prohibited, but other uses of that, uh, that dead animal, they are absolutely allowed. So he said that, why did not the, the for example, the hide of that dead animal uh, been used? And why, was, why, did it, uh, why did it go waste? So we can easily gather from this example of the Prophet, from this practice of the Prophet, that as far as uh, the prohibition of uh, pig meat is concerned, of pork is concerned, it relates absolutely to its consumption, to its oral consumption, to its eating. It cannot be extended to other parts of the animal. For example, if uh, the hides of a pig, uh, pig can be used for, for shoes or for leather jackets or for, for any other purpose, then this does not bear any label of prohibition. Of course, if a person is sensitive enough and he would not like to use these items, it is up to him. But then he cannot say that this, this is something which is prohibited by the Sharia. The Sharia does not prohibit items which are made out of the pig skin to be used by Muslims. The Sharia only prohibits pork. It does not prohibit uh, a Muslim from using the hide of a pig, for example, for any other item that he can use. He can wear shoes, he can wear jackets made out of the hides of a pig. But, as I said, the only thing that is prohibited is consumption, is the use as meat of that pig. أقول لك ولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين والمسلمات